First of all, this works only on Steam games, so make sure you have Steam installed on your PC or laptop. First, let's download Steam Achievement Notifier, or SAN, or SAN. So open link 1 given in the description below this video. Once you are in the GitHub webpage, click on Releases to get the latest version of the app. To download this app, go to Assets, and then click on the file which ends with a .exe. Now to install SAN, double click the downloaded file. It will install and launch automatically. Just make sure that Steam is installed on your device. Click on Show Test Notification to test it out and see how your Achievement Unlock Notification will look like. There are a ton of options to customize it. This app lets you create a different type of notification for each type of achievement, like one for normal achievements, one for rare, and the other for 100% completion. Click on Customize to see all the different options. You can change all the aspects of the notification, so take your time and create a style that you're like. You can even save and export the themes of notification that you create. So after customizing, this is what I have made. A notification that shows up on the center right of the screen. Before you start using this app, we have to change a few settings in the Steam app so that both Steam and SAN don't display the achievement unlock notifications at the same time. So we are going to disable Steam's boring notifications. To do this, first open Steam, click on the Steam menu, then click on Settings and Notifications. Here you can change Show Notification Toasts option to Never. This will completely stop showing all notifications, but what I like to do is set this to When I'm Not In Game. This option makes the notifications to pop up only when you are not playing any game. So when you unlock an achievement, First, SAN displays the notification, and when you exit the game, you will see notifications from Steam. That's it. Now let's test this out. Launch any game from Steam, and you will see a small banner at the bottom right corner stating Now Tracking Achievement for and your game's name. And if you unlock any achievement, you will see your customized notification pop up. If you want to use SAN in your streams or recording using OBS, you need to make a few more changes. First, let's configure SAN. So click on the Settings icon, scroll down to Streaming tab. Change the audio source to App Window. Click on Stream Notifications. You can even adjust the frame rate of the notification to match your stream or recording. Now let's configure OBS. When using Game Capture for games, keep the Capture Third Party Overlays option unchecked. Then add a new window capture source and make sure to select the option that ends with stream notification window in the dropdown. When you do this, you will see a new window in your canvas. That is the space where your notification will show up. Test it out by switching to SAN and clicking on show test notification. Notice how the place where the notification showed up on your screen and OBS Canvas is different. So adjust the window in the OBS Canvas to your liking. Once you have made changes to the canvas, you are all set for streaming. So let's test it out. And there you go. You can now stream or record your custom notification in OBS. If you have any question or need help, you can join the SAN Discord. The invite is given in the description. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe.